Good morning. Thanks for hopping on and for joining Gems for the Journey. I'm so glad you're here. I want to give you a few brief nuggets to help jumpstart your day. Come on in the room, take your shoes off. You know how I like to do it. There's some milk, orange juice, coffee, donuts, eggs, bacon. All that good stuff is over in the next room. Sweetheart, grab yourself a plate. Get yourself something to drink. And once you're done, come on back here and I'll be waiting for you. This is a wonderful Wisdom Wednesday. Oh, yes, it is. It is a wonderful Wisdom Wednesday. I hope you're doing exceptionally well this morning. I hope you are. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we want to rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, I know. I know you love your spouse. You love your children. Uh, you love your co-workers, your sorority sisters. You love the CEO. You love the COO. You love all of those people. They are important, and they do have power, but they don't have the power to make a day. Uh-uh. Only God can do that. Only God can make a Wednesday. He's God all by himself. He does not need our help. He can do it. You can go ahead and take your hands off the wheel now and just let him have it. He is going to take care of you. I don't care if it seems like the bottom has fallen out. He's going to come through for you. They laughed at your crucifixion. Oh, yes, they did. But I want to know what are they going to do about your resurrection because you are going to get back in, up again. You didn't know that? You didn't know that you were going to get back up again? Oh, yes, you are. You're going to get back up again. You are not going to stay in that spot always. I want to thank you this morning. I'm thankful for the train that didn't derail, the boat that didn't sink, and the plane that did not crash when you and I were asleep last night, dead to this world, didn't know what was going on. God sent an angel. Oh, yes, he did. He sent an angel and he said, wake her up. <laughs> She's on an assignment. So this morning, you are not here by accident. You are on an assignment. God has something for you to do today. Somebody who's you're going to encounter is going to need your words of encouragement and nobody nobody's going to be able to pour into them the way that you can oh i'm grateful this morning i appreciate you being here we are live and in color if this is your first time then please don't let it be your last time and if you happen to stop by later during the day just type in replay in the comment bar and that'll let me know that you were here yes indeed i want to thank you for liking sharing and commenting i do go back and read all of your comments. Yes, I do. I read them all because iron sharpens iron. You just don't know what you do to me when you talk to me. You help me get my day going. Yes, and you help me to remember who's in charge of it all. See, when I watch the news sometimes, it feels like things are out of control. But then when I read your comments, I realize that God is in control of all of it. And he always takes care of his children. Uh, just keep asking, knocking, and seeking. I don't care what it is. God does not. He does not get tired of you. He does not. Um, if you get any bad news today. Any bad news whatsoever, I want you to click return to sender. We're not having that. <laughs> no, no, we're not having that today. Click return to sender. Send it back where it came from. That's what I want you to do. Send it back where it came from. Be careful what you tell yourself about yourself. Okay? Be careful what you tell yourself about yourself. You are important. So I need you to speak good things. I need you to speak life. You can't speak life or help anybody else until you can first do that for yourself. Yes, indeed. You cannot pour from an empty cup. I want to ask God to do what I always ask him to do on every call. To help somebody, heal somebody, deliver somebody, restore somebody, reposition somebody, turn somebody's life around, change somebody, give somebody another chance. Yes, indeed. That's what I want to ask him to do this morning. Sometimes that's all we need. That's all we need is somebody to believe in us enough to give us another chance. Yeah, and God, he's faithful. He gives us chance and chance again. He said, how many times should I forgive my brother? Seven times, seven times, 70. You can't even count it. You can't even count it. So it makes no sense for us down here on earth not to be able to forgive one another when God is so forgiving. He's so forgiving towards us. Oh, yes, he is. Listen, on this call, somebody may be on the verge of a nervous breakdown. And if that's you, 
Instead of a breakdown, I want to ask God to give you a breakthrough. Oh, yes. I want him to come through for you this morning. I know he can. I know he can, and I know he will. I'm writing, y'all, but I'll tell you what I'm doing in just a second. <laughs> I want him to come through for you. God can. Yes, he always does. He's come through for me so many times before. I didn't know uh, up from down or left from right, but he came through. Oh, yes, he did. And in the end, I was smelling like a rose. I don't want you to think for one moment, yeah, that God won't keep his word. Now, your friends and your family members, they may not keep their word, but God, he is faithful. Yes, he is. He is faithful, and he always keeps his word. I just want you to keep on pressing. Yes, indeed. There's a blessing in pressing. Don't you dare give up. <laughs> Don't you dare give up. I just want you to tie a knot and hold on. Don't give up this morning. Yeah, God has blessings in store for you. Blessings you have not room enough to receive. Yes, room enough to receive. He's a powerful God. I want to talk to you this morning about crazy faith. Crazy faith. Not not any kind of faith. I'm talking about crazy faith. If you will, turn to Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. I'm going to be reading from the International Version, um, whatever edition you want to read from. I'll give you a chance to get there. Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. While I'm waiting for you, I just wanted to say, don't let me forget Denise Harris. Denise doesn't chime in with us in the morning, but she always stops by during the day. And she leaves quite a few prayer requests. Um, and I like that because it's clearly obvious to me that she knows that only God can do what man cannot, you know. Only God. <laughs> we better learn how to take our burdens to the Lord and leave them there. He does not give up. Well, Denise yesterday asked for prayer for friends. She asked for prayer for Hardy Moore, Shahardi Moore, Antonio Tall Tony, Shelton Natasha, Brown Holmes, Richland Family, Patrick Johnson, Corunda Harvey Johnson, Aunt Linda Cunningham, and Napoleon Moore Jr. Denise. We just want you to know, honey, that we are praying for your friends and family members. You are calling them out by name. So that lets me know that you know the power of prayer. Okay? And uh, we want to acknowledge everybody who you, you're asking for prayer for. I want you to also pray for one of my childhood neighbors. I call him my little brother. We grew up right across the street from each other. Our parents were neighbors for over 50 years uh, Jesse Parker. I saw on the news yesterday, um, Jesse's younger than I am, so I refer to him as my little brother, but he's friends with my nephews and nieces. His daughter was shot. Her name is Brittany Sorrell, S-O-R-R-E-L-L-S. Brittany was shot, uh, but survived. Brittany's nine-year-old daughter was shot and killed nine years old the nine-year-old her name is kylie sorrells k-h-y-l-i-e sorrells s-o-r-r-e-l-l-s they have a gofundme account set up for kylie if you would today go to gofundme type in either Brittany Sorrell's name or Kylie Sorrell's name, you'll find them. If you have it in your heart, send something to help Brittany bury her daughter. Jesse, I want you to know that we're praying for you. Uh, and though it seems like the bottom has fallen out, honey, God is at the bottom. He goes all the way down there with us, and he refuses to leave. And he always takes care of his children. I don't know why... Um, people are so cruel and so inhumane uh, to where now we are just opening gunfire on children. But I know that God is still good and earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. So we are praying for you, Jesse. Hang in there. Hang in there. He's a new grandfather to one baby 
and has lost another grandchild. So Jesse, we are praying for you, my friend. Uh, let me go ahead and acknowledge some of your comments. Sylvia Brown says, good morning. Sandra Jones says, good morning. Uh, DeQuindra says, good morning. Ira Booker, First Lady of the Shelbyville Church of Christ, says good morning. Ida Armstrong, my middle school classmate, faithful woman of God, says good morning. Cassandra Watson Miles says good morning, everyone. Enjoy this God-given day. Elaine Powell Smith says good morning, sister. Ida Armstrong says you can't even count it. You can't. Yvonne Bowdry Woodard said good morning. Speak. Ask God for what you want. Amen. So glad to have you, Sister Bowdry. Um, Marjorie Malone says good morning. Ira Booker says wonderful Wednesday with Jesus and you. <laughs> Praise God. Ida Armstrong says he will come through every time. Chris Carnett says, good morning, my sisters. Ira Booker says, Father, thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Ida Armstrong says he's been so faithful to me. Sophia Crawford Lewis says, good morning. Penny Rouse says, good morning, sisters. Sophia Crawford Lewis says, love your hair, Joey. Thank you, Sophia. Glad to have you back, Sister Penny. Linda's Caregiving says, good morning, women of God. Stephanie Booker Wilson, my sister, says, good morning. Ida Armstrong says, amen. We're praying and interceding with you. Denise. Yes. Ethel Barnett says, I rely on him for he is my present help in the time of trouble. Our God is awesome. Thank you for that reminder. Arthur Armstrong says, Jesus. Marjorie Malone says, for Denise and those on her prayer list. Thank you. Elder Marguerite Coleman says, Lord have mercy. Stephanie Booker Wilson, my sing, uh, my sister, that singing sensation says, Lord help. If you need vocal coaching, then Stephanie. Stephanie Booker Wilson is your go-to person. Sophia Crawford Lewis is praying for all who are asking for prayer. Marjorie Malone says, help, um, she says, praying. Uh, Helen Watson, uh, my childhood neighbor, says, good morning. Praise God, family. Thank you, Helen, for being here. Uh, Monica, just ask, says, good morning. We'll keep those mentioned in prayer. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Monica. Thank you so much. Lisa Willis says, good morning. Good morning, Lisa. Uh, so good to have you. you all, Lisa. Lisa, most of you know her. Some of you don't. She is a wonderful woman of God, educator, um, a teacher. Uh, she's just a wonderful woman of God. She speaks um, on the national circuit, uh, going from place to place for Women's Day programs. So if you're looking for a phenomenal, extraordinary, amazing speaker who can take your event, your audience to another level and who can transform women, Lisa Wilson is the person. Call on her. Call on her. Reach out to her. She can do it for you. Listen, I have all of your names on a card. If I've missed your name, you need to let me know because the Lord has put something on my heart this morning. I have Lisa Willis, Monica Just Ask, Helen Watson, Sandra Jones, Linda Caregiver, Sophia Crawford, Penny Rouser, Chris Carnett, Ira Booker, um, Marjorie Malone, Yvonne Bowdry Woodard, Elaine Powell Snell, Cassandra Watson Miles, DeQuindra Dinkins, uh, Sandra Jones. I think I said her name twice, so let me kick her out. Sylvia Brown, Carla Williams Douglas, Teresa Tucker Clark, Ethel Barnett, Sherry Umana, Ida Armstrong, Connie Bell. Missy Brown, Jennifer Catchings, Elder Marguerite Coleman, and Giovanna Russell. Now, if I've missed your name, I'm putting your name <laughs> in this container. If I've missed your name, you need to let me know. Harriet Ware, I see you there. I'm going to get to the list in just a moment, and I'm going to finish on time. Harriet Ware, if I've missed your name, you need to let me know. Yoli, I see you. Yoli, Yoli um, let me go back to it. Yoli Donaldson, I knew that. Donaldson Gray, yes indeed. Uh, if I've missed any of your names, you need to you need to let me know. Okay, so I got you in here. I got you in here. Let's get started. Here we go. Luke chapter 9, verses 1 through 10. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector. You don't put on your glasses and they wouldn't clean. Okay, I can't see. He was a chief uh, tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short and could not see over the crowd, so he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter. He was, uh, 
he has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Verse 8 says, But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay him four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today, today, not tomorrow, today salvation has come uh, to this house, because of this man too is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. I can only imagine, I could only imagine what Zacchaeus must have felt like. He was the chief tax collector, so he was naturally hated. You know how we are when we get letters from the IRS. He was rich, so he was probably misunderstood. A lot of times we do misunderstand people who are wealthy. He was small in stature, so he may have been picked on a lot. You know how people are. They'll tell you you're too short, you're too tall, you're too fat, you're too skinny, your hair's too straight, your hair's too kinky. You know how people are. You live on in the wrong neighborhood. Uh, you, you, you went to the wrong school. People just constantly judge and judge and judge. Well, this is what Zacchaeus went through. He had several things working against him all at once. Have you ever had several things working working against you all at once? It's one thing to have one thing working against you, but when it's a whole bunch of stuff working against you all at once. People are telling you you're from the wrong side of the track. You know, telling you that uh, your your resume is not good enough. Yeah, you don't work at the right job. You're not from the right pedigree. A whole bunch of stuff is going on at one time. Oh, this is what Zacchaeus was going through. It's one thing to be dealing with one problem, but you can be overwhelmed <laughs> when it's a whole bunch of stuff. Jesus had quite a sense of humor, though, and no doubt he probably chuckled when he saw Zacchaeus hanging around in a sycamore tree. Have you ever needed Jesus and you, you just went somewhere, some crazy place just to get to him? Remember the woman, you know, who said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, here she are, she's in some crowd. Who touched me? The disciples said, Jesus, we don't know. It's a bunch of people here. Jesus said, no, no. It was something different about this touch. Yeah, the power went out in me when this person touched me. This no-named woman. Well, here Z Zacchaeus was hanging up in a sycamore tree trying to see Jesus. Have you ever found yourself hanging somewhere crazy? <laughs> Saying, Lord, this world is crazy. My family ground crazy. My children acting crazy. My husband acting crazy. The students at the school acting crazy. The AP, the pro, everybody, Lord, is acting crazy. And I'm just going to hang up in this tree until you come through for me. Have you ever found yourself like that? Well, Zacchaeus did. You may, you may find yourself feeling like an outcast, being talked about, discredited, or perhaps you have some physical ailment. Oh yeah, people can go low. Oh yes, they can. They can go real low to try to hurt you. Well, Zacchaeus knows how you feel. Can you imagine how Zacchaeus must have felt looking up to Jesus as he hang in a tree and Jesus called him by name and Jesus said, come, come. Zacchaeus, get, get out of that tree. C come down here. I want to go to your house. <laughs> Have you ever, Sister Penny, been hanging in a crazy place? Yeah. You just had a crazy place in your life, and Jesus sees you. Yeah, he sees you. He said, girl, come down. <laughs> I got you. Not only do I got you, I want to go home with you. Yeah. I, I don't want to go home with him. I, I know, I know his name is on the marquee and he has the reserved parking space and they really, really have it going on, but I don't want to go home with them. Yeah, I, I know they drive the Maserati and the uh, Rolls Royce, and but that ain't who I want to go home with. Darling, I want to go home with you. Well, that's what God told the kids. Come on down here, get, get out of that tree because I want to go home with you. Even in all of your weariness, mine too, we can come down. Jesus is planning. Why, why can you come down? Because he's planning to stop by your house. He got something for you. And this morning, Stephanie, he has something for you. Ida, this morning, he's going to stop by your house. Sister Penny, all is well. All is well. Jesus is going to stop by your house today. Yes, indeed.
He sees you. He knows what you're going through. He knows you've been on a doctor's appointment and you're waiting for the results. He knows that you had a conversation with your children and you can tell that he or she is not in a good place. He knows what your grandchildren are going through. He's going to stop by your house this morning. Yeah. God knows you and I. He knows all the stuff that we go through. He knows the storms that we've weathered. He knows the trials, the tribulations, and all of the crises. He knows all of the crazy stuff. Zacchaeus climbed a sycamore tree. There's no telling what you're going to have to climb to get to Jesus. Have you ever had to climb? Have you ever had to climb, Tiffany? I see you, Tiffany. Tiffany, I think I missed a few names. Let me go back and let me acknowledge what you all are saying. Harriet Ware, I don't think I have you in my bucket. Okay, you all are leaving messages, so let me uh, let me acknowledge you. Uh, Sarah Keaton. Sarah, I don't have you. Hold on just a, just a moment, ladies. And Chris says, Joy, you missed Rachel Carnett. Okay, thank you for that reminder. Carnett and Rose Hayward. I want to get Rose Hayward. Okay, I have Rose Hayward. Uh, Sarah Keaton says, good morning. So glad to have you, Sarah. Uh, Giovanna says, morning, Mama Lisa. She's talking to Lisa Willis. So glad to have you. Yolanda Gray, got you. Uh, Chris Carnett. Uh, Marjorie says, praying for Jesse. Thank you. He appreciates that. Ida Armstrong says, he came to seek and save the lost. He did. Elaine says, amen. Yolanda says, undereducated and overqualified. She's laughing. Ida Armstrong says, you can make me whole. He can. Penny Ross says, hanging in a tree, waiting on Jesus to come through. Yes, indeed. Uh, Penny says, yes, ma'am. Stephanie Booker says, teach. Ida Armstrong says, just a crazy place. Jesus wants to come home with us. Yes, he does. Tiffany Townsend says, oh, yes. Harriet Ware says, amen. Elaine Powell Snell says, God knows it all. Ida says, Lord, you're welcome. Come and take a seat. Tiffany Townsell says, Mercy. Yes, we're going to have to climb. Elder Marguerite Coleman says, Come on in, Lord Jesus. Brian Bowright. Oh, we have a, a young man here. Brian Bowright. Let me get you. you. Your name goes in the hat too, Brian. So glad to have you. He says, Good morning, sister. Uh, good morning to you. And Lisa Willis says, Good morning, um, Javana, yes indeed. In the midnight hour, you have to laugh sometimes to keep from crying. It's not until you are down to your last dime. It's not until you've been sick enough. It's not until you've suffered enough pain and loss. It's not until your children have turned away from God. It's not until you have been betrayed that you learn how to say, Father, I stretch my hands to you. No other help I know if I withdraw myself from you. Lord, where will I go? Yes, indeed. And in, in essence, that's what Zacchaeus was saying. He said, Lord, I don't have nobody but you. Yeah, you're the only one I have. I, I'll hang out in this tree for you. You know, I'll climb a high place to get to you. That's what he did. That's what he did. He did that. So I want you to stop worrying about what other folk think and participate in your own breakthrough because that is what Zacchaeus did. Yeah, at some point he had to stop worrying that folk were laughing at him because he was short or being upset at him because he, he had the job of being a tax collector. At some point he had to let all of that go and say, Jesus, I heard you were coming through. I'm short. They're not going to let me get to you. So I'm going to hang up in a tree. And when I see you or when you see me, just call me. You know, just call me. And that's exactly what happened. If you know you need a miracle, then that is what you ask God for. If you know you need a miracle, then ask God for a miracle. If you know you need a healing, you ask God for a healing. It doesn't matter if it seems like you are an extremist. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Listen, honey. When you go to church Sunday and you get happy and start crying and you can't control yourself and folk are looking at you funny, just tell them, go sit on another pew. 
Don't go sit on another pew. You don't know what God has done for me and what he's done for my children and what he's done for my children's children. He keeps on making a way for me. He keeps on performing miracles for me. You know, last month I had more month than money. This month I have more money than month. Yeah, I can put my hands on all of my children. I went in and peeped in and they were all there. Somebody's son or daughter didn't come home last night. That's why I shed tears. That's why I shout joy. That's why I sing hallelujah. You don't know what he's done for me. I've been hanging around in a sycamore tree and Jesus, he stopped by. He told me to come on down. He was going to come and visit my house and I can tell he's in here because as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Have you ever had one of those prayers? Yes, indeed. I'm asking God to come through for you, to exhibit some amazing faith. Many of us are facing situations that seem impossible, but I'm telling you, they are not. Be like Zacchaeus and operate in crazy faith. Don't you dare worry about what nobody else thinks. Lord, just what you did for Zacchaeus, I want you to do for somebody here today. I think I have everybody, and it's 558. I'm, I normally go over time, but I'm telling you, I want to get out on time today. I have mixed all of these names up. I'm going to let you see me just mix them up and... Just mix them up all kinds of ways. I got all your names in here. I want to make sure I turn them over so I'm not looking at them. I got them all in here. And I'm going to pick a name. I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to pick one. And I'm going to tell you what I want you to do with it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to pick one. I don't know who it is. I got it. I got it. I got it. Missy Brown. I don't know if you can see it. You see it? That's Missy Brown. Missy, are you here? Missy Brown. We'll do this periodically. Missy, here's what I want you to do. You send me your cash out, and I'm going to bless you today. But what I want you to do, Missy, I want you to think of somebody. Think of somebody that you've had a relationship with, but for some reason is strained. Maybe it was a childhood friendship or a young adult friendship, and y'all just don't talk like you used to. Or it could be somebody at church that maybe you had an altercation with. It could just be something. Yeah, It could be a family member. It doesn't matter. You know, It's about making amends. And what I want you to do, Missy, I want you to call them up. Yeah, don't text them. We need to learn how to communicate again. I want you to call them up. And I want you to say, sis, we haven't talked in a while. But that doesn't mean I don't love you. I didn't know how to come to you. But the Lord put it on my heart to come to you. Yeah. And you know what? Whatever it is, I don't even remember what it was. But can we squash it? Can we forget it? Can we operate in love? I'm too busy seeing so many things that go on in the news and life ain't promised. It ain't promised. So for me and you, let's just start over again. Can we do that? Missy, when I send you this hundred dollars, it's not for you. It's for that person I want you to reach out to. Okay? It's for that person I want you to reach out to. One person at a time, we can change this world and we only change it by loving one another. Okay, Missy, today was your day. Tomorrow, it may be somebody else's. We're going to keep on. We're going to keep on going into this pot until we change one life at a time. Listen, if God be for you, Missy, don't forget to send your cash out. Listen, if God be for you, who can be against you? No weapon. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Listen, if nobody has told you this morning that they love you, let me tell you, I love you. And there ain't a thing, not one thing you can do about it. We can change this world one person at a time. You all are chiming in. Let me get the last of these and then I'm out of here. Ida says, glory to God. Elder uh, Marguerite says, welcome, Brian. Glad you stopped by. Ida says, don't hinder my praise. 
Uh, Chris says, welcome, Brian. Uh, Jennifer Catchin says, yes. Connie Bell says, don't stop my praise. Tiffany Tonsil says, oh, yes, I shall operate in crazy faith. Ida Armstrong says, sis, I'm telling you, I love your hair. Thank you. Javala says, mercy. Marjorie Malone says, crazy faith. Yolanda Donaldson says, blessings, Missy. Ethel Barnett says, praise God. Elaine Powell Snell says, what a blessing, Misty. Ida Armstrong says, blessings to you, Missy Brown. Javonna Russell says, yes, Missy. Monica just asks, is Missy such a blessing? Um, Stephanie gives a heart. Ethel Barnett says, thank you, Lord. Yoli Donaldson says, yes, we can. Penny says, I love you, Joey. Thank God for you and these wonderful ladies. Elaine uh, Powell says, uh, thoughtful, Joey. Love you. Sharonda Thick Madame Jones says, praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. Listen, y'all, I got to get out of here. I got places to go, people to see, things to do, and I know you do, too. I know you do, too. Lisa Willis says, love you, Joy. Love you back. I want you all to have an amazing day. I look forward to meeting you back here on a transformational Thursday. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You're on an assignment. You are not here by accident. Go and fulfill your assignment today, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care, and God bless.